Bryan. Northland's Jake Hilmer has broken just about every record you can think of on both the basketball court and the baseball diamond. Tonight, Hilmer had the chance to break the national hits record for a high school player. Lynx taking on Marquette Catholic. In game two, Hilmer needed two hits to tie, three to break it. First at bat, he takes a walk. Second at bat, he gets hit by the pitch. And then his third at bat, Hilmer here strikes out swinging. Hilmer would, however, have one hit in the game, but the Lynx as a team had the bats going. How about David Sieber here with a shot that is nearly spectacularly caught in left field. This would bring home Hilmer as the Lynx sweet market Catholic. Hilmer needs two more to break the record. Next chance is on Friday against Monticello. The average NBA salary hovers right around $6 million per year. In contrast, the average WNBA salary is approximately $75,000 a year. Because of that fact, most WNBA players also play professionally overseas. That's exactly what former Iowa Hawkeye Megan Gustafson will do. Gustafson has signed with the team in Hungary that she will play for after the current WNBA season finishes. Gustafson will play for NKE Seattle. Currently, she's averaging 5.4 points per game for the Dallas Wings. Other basketball news, former Iowa State Cyclone Matt Thomas has agreed to a three-year contract with the defending NBA champion Toronto Raptors. Thomas has been playing in Spain after playing for the Sykes from 2012 to 2017. To high school news, a month after Corby Lobby resigned as Marion's athletic director, the Indians have hired Mike Manderscheid to replace him. Manderscheid was the boys' basketball head coach for 11 years, compiling a record of 153 and 103 before stepping down from that role in March. The entire baseball world was stunned this morning as reports came out of Texas that Los Angeles Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs was found dead in his hotel room. Skaggs was 27 years old. Tonight's game with the Angels and Rangers was postponed. Part of the Angels' farm system, Stags played for the Colonels back in 2010, going 9-5 with a 3.29 ERA. This news comes just one day after the Colonels held a scholarship award ceremony in memory of Nick Aidenhart. Aidenhart died in 2006 after playing for both the Colonels and the Angels. The Colonels did play today as well. A rubber match with Kane County will skip to the eighth inning. It's tied at one apiece. Check out the play here from Gilberto Celestino. Makes the catch in center. How about this perfect throw on the dime to nab the runner. Trying to get to third. Keeps it at one apiece. Head to the bottom half. Celestino putting the team on his back. How about the leadoff double down the line? Immediately puts himself in scoring position. And next batter, Chris Williams. And Williams puts this one deep to left center. Easily scores Celestino. That would give the Colonels a 2-1 lead. Then for insurance. Gabe Snyder gets a hold of one. It goes over the fence in right field for a two-run bomb, but look closely on this replay coming up. This ball is pretty clearly fouled. Cougar manager Vince Harrison comes out to argue he's eventually ejected, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Colonels win the series with the 4-1 final. They got two games coming up in Burlington. They'll return home on Thursday for two more games home against Burlington. They need the VAR like they Yeah, right. Get Cup. that replay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I love